Hello and greetings ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back one and all to Let's Play Cry of Fear. I am your humble host, the Shadow Cookie. In the last episode, Simon was able to retrieve the Ruger from the bowling alley located within the basement of Mölnbeck Mental Hospital. Why? Because kind Dr. Purnell asked us to get it for him. And what did we get in return as our humble reward? Well, First of all, most importantly, a fucking bullet to the shoulder. Yep, indeed. We have suffered a permanent wound. Our health bar has been reduced and it will not regenerate. That is filling my heart with worries. Lots of them. Thankfully though, that was not the only reward. Nope, he actually kept his promise and gave us a key in exchange for the Ruger. Should I feel happy now? Nope, I can't really feel all that happy because we got fucking shot and as I already said, it is a permanent wound. This is going to fucking reduce our abilities to survive. This is gonna hinder us greatly, especially since axe-wielding lunatics are running all over the place. I can definitely tell that the, like, final hours of Cry of Fear are going to be such a delightful experience. Why final hours? Well, because countless users have already been informing me that I am approaching the end of the game. I do not really appreciate spoilers, but ah, what the hell, I'm not gonna be mean now. We are slowly approaching the end of the game. I'd definitely like to find out how I did, and by how I did I mean um, how my choices are going to affect the ending. Will Simon die in the very end? Will he survive? Who knows? There's only one way to find out though, by, of course, proceeding. Let us not waste any time. First of all, ugh, I need to head back upstairs and use that fucking key on the gate. Why didn't I do that at the end of the last episode? Maybe because my mind was all over the fucking place. Oh well, let's do it. <laughs> Great, and in order to pick up the key, I need to drop an item. And of course that item is going to be my fucking gun, since I cannot afford to lose the light source or syringes. Oh, if only the fucking syringes wouldn't glitch out. That would be such a pleasure. <sighs> Get to it, TSC. You've got lots of work ahead of you. <laughs> This just gives me the delightful feeling that new creatures have appeared. Well, especially at the or within the other side or wing of the mental asylum. I called an asylum again. <laughs> just, just dandy. Well, I could go retrieve my gun, but oh, Jesus, why the hell not? Wait, what am I talking about? Of course I need my fucking gun. I can't just head into a new location or area of this fucking hospital. The fucking doctor locked the door behind him. Oh yes indeed he did, once again. I swear to god, whether my theory about him being a monster is true or not, he is going to die. 
At least I hope that the developers will give me, grant me the chance to kill him. I mean seriously, I've made an important decision. I have shown this mod that I am good at heart, that I can not be greedy, that I want to help other people even if they have fucking committed terrible crimes. Ugh, well, as I said already, I hope that they will give me the chance. He is nothing more than a monster who is plaguing Simon's mind and therefore it must be destroyed. First of all though, what do we have here? A telescope? Oh boy, isn't this so fucking delightful? A key? A key and a phone, not just that though, new objective, find a phone number. Why the hell do you want me to find a phone number? I guess I wouldn't mind to call home, but what other place? <laughs> find a phone number, well, um, okay, voice in my head, I guess I'm gonna follow your advice. First of all though, what do we have here? A telescope, let's take a look through it and probably suffer from a jump scare. see Jack. Not a good sign. <laughs> and now we are once again being confronted with a dilemma. There's another fucking key. What is it going to unlock? Let us find out that mystery first. <laughs> found the staff key, and where is the staff door located? On this very floor, on the other side. That is of course going to be a problem, for two reasons. Number one, there are most likely new creatures. Number two, remember the door where Simon said that he feels like someone is standing behind it? You get my drift, right? Oh dear. Well, you all know what that means. First of all, I will try to cleanse this floor from any kind of new evil. Afterwards, we will drop our gun yet again, get the key, and etc. etc. You get the idea. And what will we find inside the staff room? Who knows? Maybe a phone number? No idea yet what I'll need to do with this telescope, but oh well. Let's go for it. I'm feeling so scared. Try to suppress the feelings, try to suppress the urge to want to scream like a little girl. This is so nerve-wracking. You know, 
The worst part about these axe-wielding lunatics is that they scream. Scream like a fucking madman once they appear. It catches you off guard so very much. It basically drops your your senses. It drops your ability to immediately react towards the, well, incoming threat. And therefore they'll get a chance to slash or hack away. I really don't like these guys. I'm gonna be so very careful now, examining this new wing. Good god. I pick up his fucking axe. Not that I have the inventory space available, but still, why is it never possible in video games? Well, in some of them it is, but not in this one, sadly. Fucking bullshit. Well, if this guy is just a figment of my imagination, then I guess... But why... No, wait, I can pick up the fucking guns of the... Well, pistol-toting creeps. That's the first time I called them that. So why not this axe? Consider me... Unimpressed and unsatisfied. Well, at least he went down nice and quiet. <laughs> quiet, yeah, right. <laughs> part about it all. Fucking going back to that door without a gun. I swear to god, this finale of the fucking mod is so evil. So fucking evil. You know, the difference between a game like this and Amnesia is the ability of being able to defend yourself or not. If I would um, need to decide which game is scarier, I'd still say Amnesia. Why? Because all you can do is run away. That's why I always feel so very terrified when the chainsaw-wielding maniac appears. Right now, this is getting down to Damnesia. Pfft, Damnesia? What the hell? Amnesia Niveau. And I am not saying that in a bad way, like getting down to that Niveau. No, 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 I mean in a bad way as in a fucking horrifying way. Not being able to defend yourself is crazy. It's the worst kind of horror scenario I can imagine. <sighs> Did anybody hear yet of the, like, um, free game that came out some time ago? It's still an alpha version, but SCP-137 Containment Breach, anybody? Have you heard of that yet? If not, oh dear, it's fucking terrifying and I have not yet played it. I've just watched videos and that alone was enough to scare me away for good. Yes, yes, I know, I know, post phoning time, but seriously, when do I ever get the chance to speak about my feelings? Nobody cares about them, nee, nee, nee. nobody cares about what the Sato cookie is feeling. Gotta move on, damn it! Okay, okay, I'm moving, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to steal your time, because that makes me feel good. <laughs> happened again. God, that made me jump. I went through the gate, didn't I? 
yet I am still on this side. This has happened so many times already. It's it's probably just a glitch. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Just a glitch, but for some strange reason it feels like an additional horror effect that you just walk into a door and don't reach the other side. <laughs> this glitch should never be fixed, because it's fucking scary. It's a neat jump scare. <laughs> Jesus Christ. one and all, are you ready for the staff quarters? What kind of environment did the staff work in? And by that I mean what kind of like furniture did they own? What kind of rooms did they... <sighs> Does anybody care? Nope, of course not. Once again I am just trying to post for time because I am feeling as afraid. Afraid of what could be inside this room. Okay, the shadow cookie, retrieve a phone number. Simple as that. Retrieve a phone number, uh, get ready for all the new creatures that will spawn once you actually find it, and everything is gonna be alright, happy and dandy. <laughs> to free. The staff room is empty, nothing more than a chair and that lamp once again. <laughs> An entrance in the back. An entrance leading to what seems to be a bathroom. And the screaming is the loudest in here. The fucking screaming. I, I, I hear that. This entire time ever since I entered the mental hospital, I could even hear it from the outside. Where does it come from? Who the fuck is screaming so very loudly? Time to find out, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Place your bets, one and all. Am I going to die? Let's find out. <laughs> to panic, no reason to panic at all, I have the situation under control. <laughs> So not going out there. No, 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 no. I am not going out there. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something to calm myself down. Um, random topic number one. Ladies and gentlemen, my let's play of Legend of Grimrock has started. Oh, you didn't know it? Well, why don't you check out part number zero? Yes, indeed, my lovely little introduction. It should... It should make you feel excited for the upcoming project. Yes, indeed. Um, random, random topic number two. I have recently ordered myself Silent Hill Downpour. Yes, indeed. No matter what the oath of smart reviews out there say, it looks fucking amazing, and I want it. Yeah, and and I should receive it soon. Yeah, horror games. They are they are delightful, aren't they? They are our lovely companions. 
Oh dear, why did I devote my channel mostly to horror games? That's... that's the fucking reason why I need to endure this right now. Oh, if I would have known back then when I uploaded the first part of I Wanna Be The Fan Game, recorded with a fucking digital cam, if I would have known that I would one day need to face this kind of scenario, maybe I wouldn't have started Let's Playing. <sighs> Alright, alright. Um, process the situation. Door suddenly closing. Footsteps approaching. Female banging on the door, crying. Door slowly opening. Equals? Equals death! Yes, death! Nothing but death! Horrifying death! And wait a minute. There was no phone number in here. Oh god. Who is out there? <laughs> Looky what we have here. It's um it's it looks like looks like a, a piece of stone. However, broken in half. Oh no. Come on. Is this another find A and B and combine them into C puzzle? <sighs> on top of that, I can't fucking drop any items. I can't drop my flashlight, I can't drop my pistol, I can't drop my bloody syringes. If I do that I'm going to die. This is insane. Okay, okay, I should be I should be safe as long as I'm inside of this room. Whoever left this stone piece, let's examine it. This lovely. You found half of a stone plate and something is engraved on it. However, you cannot read all of it without the second half. Is this going to result in me finding a phone number? Well, that would certainly be lovely. However, where is the second half? No other place was open. All of the other places I've visited so far were either empty or locked. This can only mean one thing. As soon as I leave this room, new doors which were previously locked are going to burst, revealing enemies. <laughs> Why me? Why me? This fucking asylum. Oh, I pray to God that this is the final area of the game, cause it's, it's tearing my mind apart. You know what? I'm not gonna take this thing with me yet. I want my tape recorder cause this episode has come to an end. I just want my fucking tape recorder and maybe kill a few foes on the way back there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, four fucking syringes already. I'm definitely gonna be able to stay alive for some time. If only I could drop these darn things. Then I could just stash them away at one of the tape recorders and have more inventory space. But no, they need to glitch out and buck together, combine into one or two. It's, it's delightful. <laughs> Well, 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 who's gonna be out here? Who wants to kill me? Who wants to fucking sink his axe into my skull? I am ready. I'll take it all the way in. <laughs> Just bring it. Fucking bring it. I'm so not kidding. <laughs> It's a trap. It's a fucking trap. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Why?
Are you serious? The fucking door bug happened again? That freaked the shit out of me. I was all like, quickly, into the staff quarters, there you're going to be safe. Nope. <laughs> no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna make you come out of the same door. It's the same door you went into, you're gonna come out of that door, and you're gonna fucking face that creep, whether you like it or not. Well, there goes another magazine. A magazine and my health. Looks like I'll finally need to use one of these syringes. Calm down, everything's alright. <laughs> Well, 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 not a lot of bullets left in this magazine. I might be able to take one of these guys out. Maybe not. If not, I... I... I'm just gonna make a run for the tape recorder. Why? Why not? Yes, that's... that's exactly what I'm going to do now. to end the episode. Oh yes indeed. I hate these fucking guys. They are... <laughs> sometimes they scream and scare the shit out of me and sometimes they don't scream and just appear out of nowhere. Where did that guy come from? He was like hiding in the very corner. <laughs> and what did I tell you? That fucking door. Oh, somebody's behind it. Well yes, no fucking joke. I hate these guys. I, I said that already. I hate them. Well, at least now, now I know what's to come, since I'll need to fucking redo that staff quarters event. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this journey, this journey might be very close to its end, but I'd say it's still very far away, even though, even though, even though I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. You should probably just think about rainbows, unicorns, bubblegum, and butterflies. Yes, indeed, that's all you need to think about, because those are the things that make life valuable and precious and pretty. And I'll shut up now. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Shadow Cookie. You are watching Let's Play Cry of Fear. Head over to my Let's Play of Legend of Grimrock if you haven't already. Check it out. Like the video if you feel like it, leave a comment, tell your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you all next time, after my therapy session, because this fucking place, it's haunting my nightmares, and unless I finish this game, it will never leave my fucking conscious again. My conscious, do you say it like that? Nobody cares.